Pibo County in the south of Sudan is one of the country's remotest and poorest areas. It's home to the Mula, a tribe totally dependent on their livestock for economic survival. But in recent years, disease has taken its toll on their livelihoods as the cattle succumb to bacterial infections. Vaccinating the cattle is the best way to protect them from disease. And the ICRC is working with local partners to vaccinate 100,000 animals in this area alone. Helping the herders understand why immunization will save their cattle is a vital first step. We have to tell them the importance of vaccine is we, we bring vaccine to protect your animal, not to be affected from the disease. It's better to protect than to treat, because protection, you protect m almost all of the hearts. Uh, when we come for, with this uh, livestock vaccination campaign, which will protect the uh, lives of the animal, the population is happy, eh? they appreciate. 62-year-old Mambeko <laughs> is bringing his herd for vaccination. The men vaccinating the cattle are from the Mula tribe and have been trained by the ICRC and the government. Karonka Kujukta Tina Kujukta Tina Roget Dois Lano Kakachalane Mor, Lano Tamutele, the Gitanya Gilmilger, Yamurzo King Tidu, Yalimiti, Yakupumi, Madaka Rae, Matil Tamu, Chalane. Cows are currency here. They're used not only for their meat and milk, but also as dowries for marriage. <laughs> During the dry season, the herders are constantly in search of water for their livestock. But when water levels drop, tensions can rise as they encroach on the grazing land of other tribes. In 2010, more than 100 people died in clashes between the Mula and a neighboring tribe. The vaccination scheme should improve the livelihoods of those affected by conflict, and there are plans to extend the program to other tribes in the south of the country. Bye.